everyone. Here I am mixing the oils and mixing uh, the lye with the oils. So you can see it's a little bit kind of yellow. And that is because of the uh, cocoa butter and chia butter on it. And the whole, um, the uh, bee wax as well. So just keep moving slowly. Really, really slowly and gently. When you have finished with the lye, I always kind of like with a napkin and dry the side so I don't drop lye and put it away. And have a napkin next to me just in case I need to put this down. I have this here, this vase over here. Hope you can see it so I can put these too as well. So here we go. This is that's why I wait uh, between right now, before I turn on the video, I took the temperature over and it was exactly 98, and it was 98 both. And so you can see it's a perfect, perfect mix. You can already start seeing the trays, as you can see. Tray is already there. moment when I add the uh, peppermint lip. You know what I'm doing that? I have half a cup of the peppermint and just put half first and then the other half and move it slowly and gently You don't want to make the mix really thick right away. Oh, it looks so beautiful. And I'm not going to put color on this one because I'm going to put inside a bottle a little bit apart to create a dark green color. I think I'm going to sniff. Okay, so then put the rest. Oh, smells like peppermint already and it doesn't have the essential oils yet. So I'm just moving it around now because I don't want it to get thick. I need to pour it on a bottle. sure there's no peppermint around it. And make sure not to have um, this mix on your hands either. You're supposed to wear gloves, but I hate gloves. I don't like gloves. see these let me check the camera step back a little bit so you can see how am I gonna pour that thing on a small bottle fragrance yet because I don't want uh, these on the bottle to have the fragrance. Oops. 
Oh, that mix looks perfect. Okay, see if you washing these. Let's pour this on a bottle. A little bit more. Oops. So then shake the bottle. Let's see if you can we can get that color. Green color. Perfect. So I'm going to show you. Here we are, the green color, and here we have the rest of the mix. And now I'm going to apply the uh, essential oils to it. You get the essential oils, and I have it over here, and it's two ounces of peppermint essential oil oh smell delicious and then moving it slowly just because I don't want the uh, mix to get really thick yet I'm already going to pour on the mold, get my thing here, and what I'm going to do, let me set this camera back so I can have more space there and not have too much problem and have an accident. So I already have my colors, I already put the uh, peppermint. And I already divided as well in half for the other batch. There you go. Oh, it looks fabulous. I have to show you this. Look at this. Um, this is how it is right now. You can see the trays. Oh, and it smells fantastic. I'm looking for my big pot. It's right here. So I'm going to pour it here. Just because dealing with these in the molds is a little bit dangerous. Just because it's too big. So I'm going to pour it here. As much as I can put in here. Slowly in the size. I'm always really careful with these, as you can see I don't make a lot of mess or have it on my hands. Just really careful. When I do soaps, I do take my time 
I don't have anybody else doing soaps here with me just because it's dangerous, really dangerous to have two people working with that. And I also have my water and alcohol preparing one side just in case I can smirch my hands on the alcohol. Oh, look at the green color came out. Oh my gosh. Amazing. So I'm going to pour this. So what I'm going to do, maybe I should bring, this is not my area work here for the soaps, but um, I'm just going to bring the molds in this area then. There you go. And then I'm going to bring my chunk of soaps too that I prepare. A while ago, I usually make a lot of these and then put them on big Ziploc bag and storage them for a while. So there you go. Pour the soap gently. Make sure that it will get in every corner of the mold. There you go. Make sure to clean your pot on the sides. One dripping light and soap everywhere. And then with your spoon, push down. Really important. And then let's fill out the other one as well because they are the same process. It came out so pretty. I even love it like that. I'm gonna do frosting on the top and I am gonna decorate the cake on the top. I mean the soap. But as it is, I love it. And you can see that I didn't shake it a lot. I mean those oils were 99 almost right there. It was perfect 99. go. I need to pour a little bit more. Make sure and move again your mix. Make sure that those essential oil are complete mix. There you go. And then I'm just filling up the molds, but I I have to uh, do the frosting, so I have to shake that mixture a little bit more, really thick, so I can do the uh, the frosting. So I think I reach exactly what I wanted to reach. Down, so it goes deep on the wall there. And then take the lid very carefully because remember that those oils are hot with the light as well. And then it's going to come soft first. And maybe this is a new one bottle, so I'm just going to cut it. This one is, uh, the lid is new, not the bottle. Hey, my scissor is not that good. I'm wondering how, there you go. Okay, so there you go. And then push down. So you can shake again if it gets stuck a little bit because it has a little bit of the, uh, the C. There you go. And the other side and as you do this it goes deep on the soap you hear that I like it love that sound but that sound doesn't happen oh it makes me so cranky sometimes oh, there it is 
There you go. Awesome. Love it. And then make sure, I mean, I'm making sure to leave a little bit because I'm going to use it at the end to decorate the, the top to make spots. So I'm going to get my rod, my glass rod. I have them somewhere. And this is what I use, my glass rod, to make the uh, surreals on the soap. Oh, so pretty. Can't wait to show you, and I can't wait to get it out of the mall. Oh, so pretty. There you go. I don't want to make a lot of color on the surreal. So I wanted to keep it light slightly. I don't want to make a lot. So this one's I'm just gonna press. I'm outside on my studio and it's already probably like 10. I don't know exactly what time is it, but I don't like to be here by myself. Because everyone is at home quiet. And I'm afraid of the dark. Unfortunately, I'm a coward on that. So I am pressing those soaps down. And people say that, you know, you have to work fast just because your mixture gets hard right away. And no. I am taking my time. It gets hard, it's okay. I'll work with it. But I love just to take my time. And then these ones that I have over here, I'm going to use those to decorate the top. Just pressing the soaps down. Oh, that is so pretty. Then shake again down. And now I'm going to pour the rest on the top. And the rest that I'm pouring on the top, it's not going to have swirls. It's not going to be mixed with the bottom. I want the effect or a different color on the top. right back just making sure that the camera is working because I do want you to enjoy how am I doing this and maybe I can put a um, recipe on it this is one of my favorite recipe I love this recipe and I can tell you what did I use on this recipe let me bring my iPad here and maybe place it here in front of the uh so I have coconut oil, olive oil, I have palm oil, I have chia butter, avocado butter, avocado oil, bee wax, and cocoa butter. Those are my ingredients that I use for this recipe. I'm just pressing enough to accommodate the soap, not pressing to get the surreals up because I want to create that effect of the surreals on the bottom and then the kind of like yellow color on the top. This is yellow color, but when it gets dry, it's not going to look like that. It'll be lighter than that. It's just because of the cocoa butter and the bee wax that the bee wax is um it's the yellow bee wax i like it because it's natural and 
It smell, it's not dye. It's not bleach. I'm sorry, it's not bleach. And it smells delicious. I like it. So as you can see, it's on the top. So you can either stop there and leave your soap like that if you wanted to. But I'm going to go a little bit higher because I'm going to decorate the soap. And you're going to see me decorating the soap because I have to do, to do it like right now when I finish here. Just want to make sure that you're really getting these on the video. It's really important for me that you get these. So I'm going to get it a little bit more closer right there instead of my face. I'm not that pretty today. I just have a summer dress. And my hair is messy. Haven't been paying too much attention to myself lately. Just been soaps and soaps and dealing with customer because I am I am doing the feathers, the feathers uh, hair extensions at my boutique and I have three customers today and they just show up at the same time. Okay, so now that I have, I'm going to take it just a little bit, not too much, just twice. There you go. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, oh my gosh, that is just delicious, delicious smell. And you can, it's up to you how much uh, fragrance did you want to put as well, but I, I don't risk it because I did it once and put too much fragrance and I completely ruined my recipe. Just because I thought that I wasn't smelling that, but when my husband came in, he said, oh my gosh, what is that fragrance? And I knew that it was smelling okay. It's just that for some reason I couldn't smell at that time. So now I just have a recipe uh, based on oils, based on the light. Uh, that's what I use on my fragrance. So this is the frosting that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be doing some truffles of these ones too. Because I have enough recipe to make a couple of ruffles, uh, truffles. And sometimes I make the truffles so small that I just give them away for samples to people at the shop. So I probably will do a couple of small ones so I can give samples. There you go. Make sure that you're cleaning complete your pot because you're not going to believe how much you can get out of the pot. And these ones are styling steel one. I don't use plastic or um, just kind of like cheap containers to mix the oils. That's why this one is so heavy and it's so difficult for my hands sometimes. Because the pot weighs a ton. But it is awesome. As you can see, super heavy. Make sure to scrub everything you can. still get soap out of this pot. Yummy, I think. This is it. Let me show you the pot. You have to see the pot. Complete empty. And it's not greasy on the sides and anything. I'm always trying to work, um, you know, clean and keep everything clean. Always use a, always have a napkin close to me to clean everything even that I'm going to put them on the uh, washing machine but to make sure and get rid of it of the uh, garbage right away and then I have alcohol and water over here for my hands just because I don't like to use gloves it's just so difficult for me to use the gloves so what I do I wash my hands like every five minutes 
with a solution of water and alcohol to make sure that I don't have light on my hands. I didn't touch any light, but just in case. That looks really nice. So right now what I'm going to do is get rid of, it of these things and put them over here. These things that I already finished that I don't need, just put them away. Because I want to be able to have enough space to work with the frosting. Right now I have two pots, but I only, for this one it's not a lot, for this it's a big bag. It's a bakery bag and I'm going to fill it completely full all the way up with the extra soaps to make the truffles. So let me get the camera a little bit more closer over there so you can see this. So this is my frosting and I'm going to use this small one that I have over here. So you can see, start pouring. And this is a bakery uh, holder that you put over here to hold. It's really, really good. I was always having problem uh, trying to fill out my bags. Always having problems. And I bought this and it's amazing. It's really, really good. I like it. So. There you go. So this is what I have and I'm going to keep filling these ones here with the soap. I like it. It's like making cakes. As you can see, and I'm not going to fill it up a lot. There's no necessity and I'm not in a rush either. So this is what I'm going to be doing. And I'm just going to do it in one side gonna go slowly just doing this here oh look at how that beautiful the peppermint leaves look super beautiful I like it let me get you closer so you can see this I don't know if you can see it from that way but let me put the camera this way maybe you can just see it that way look at that how pretty it looks really pretty I like it. So let me get the camera and put the camera here on this base so you can see it better. Because I think it's the light. Plus it's the same color of the counter. And I don't know if you can see that. Is that good there? I think that's good there. Okay, hopefully you are seeing this completely both mold hopefully you're you can see that so this is what I did as you can see just one on the side and then I'm gonna do it on the other side too You go put it back over here get my back down I don't know if you can see that right there let's do it right here then so you can see it there and then fill my back again carefully Make sure to hold the base because this you can set it there, but if it doesn't have a weight yet, it does not stay in place. And you definitely want it in place. I remember like five years ago, I was doing soap with my Jimmy, and then he prepared me this round PVC mold. And for some reason, it was a big batch. I always like to do big batch. The lid can come out of the uh, end and it was a mess. There was uh, soap everywhere. 
and I remember picking it up with my hands because I didn't have gloves. It was a huge accident. I mean, not accident. It was just, you know, it didn't kill my hand or burn my hands at all. But thank God there weren't children. Oops, there weren't children around. It was just us. And it was in another different.